Good morning, my lovelies. Happy Friday from me and my friend over here. I just cannot be great. You know this. I just cannot be great. I um, want to wish you guys a happy Friday. I'm vlogging for this week's video and it'll just be today. Um, yeah, so I'll be back when I get to another stoplight. <music> As I was saying, I am not feeling my best today, and I haven't been for this entire week. Um, so I want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> um, I want to talk about, you know, like getting out of a slump. You know, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like demotivated just you know that little can't bother attitude there that overwhelming feeling um and it can be from anything it can be from family it can be from loss it can be from work it can be from anything <laughs> basically uh it's not something that is strange to any of us all of us feel this way at some point in our lives multiple times so it's not like a one-off thing where today you feel the way uh, chances are you feel this way so many times in your entire lifetime i think it's a part of life you know the ups and downs i always say that once we figure out this thing called life we'll be fine but it's it's the figuring it out you know like figuring out or accepting actually that it's just all of this is just a part of it so the ups and the downs so when the downs come no bother you can feel down and you can kind of feel your feelings and all of that but just don't stay there uh, i think that is what is most important to not stay in that state it is of utmost importance that we take care of our mental health because without up here start work properly I tell you like everything will just go wrong for you and you don't want that to happen so always remember to take care of up here right so yeah going back to you know feeling like you're in a slump or just feeling demotivated like like you just can't bother with life i think yes as i said it's important to feel and go through your emotions but do not stay there so for me if i'm feeling down um i will watch a movie i will listen to music i'll watch a youtube video you know maybe go on tiktok it's different things for different people read a book you know go go for um a jog work out uh, for, for a lot of people work out is their therapy so there's so many things that you can do but choose something that you actually enjoy something that you know can get you in you know a better headspace it's not gonna change things completely but at least it can get you in a better headspace so if you're going through any of that choose one of these things and it doesn't have to be just one you can do multiple things but essentially whatever makes you feel better and whatever helps your mental health um yeah that's what i want you to do and when you do that after you do that you have to get up and show up because remember so we say you can't stay in other states so you have to get up and show up so today you're feeling down or you, listen you can be feeling down in the morning when you wake up but listen you go get ready for work or whatever it is you're doing put on your clothes and make sure because listen when you look good you feel good so make sure say you fix the ear good um if you have a brush your hair gel it down whatever it is fix up your hair if you are into makeup then you do some makeup put on your best dress listen your sunday best and just put on something nice and something that you feel comfortable in and you can really feel you know really good about yourself and show up start tackling these things um yeah so you know i feel like i have a million things to do like and sometimes they get too overwhelmed to the point where you end up doing nothing at all that's not a good thing it has happened to me 
it's not a good thing i have a system that i utilize um in my work life and even in my personal life to be honest i ensure that i have a to-do list i have this software on my, com my computer by the name of notion and i make the list for i generally make a list for like the week but then now i started to make lists or i have started to make lists for days so I have a daily list of to do things to do and each thing I do, I just select the box and just it just cross it off and it's so satisfying. But yeah, it really helps me to tackle the heavy, you know, work, task, whatever it is, things I have to do. Um, yeah, just get into them one by one and it, it really, really does help. So if you are feeling down today, get up and show up. But remember first you go through the feelings go through the emotions do something to kind of cheer you up but remember that you have to get up and show up i feel like that's the best way of tackling it don't wallow in it get up and show up right and just be your best self yeah hey yeah, guys so one of my clients just messaged me a while ago he was asking for some document so i sent it to him i had done a sale for him some time ago and i was like so how are you doing and he's like I'm, I'm holding on. <laughs> this is not like a hundred percent connected to what I was talking about before, but it's similar because. So I said, why are you just holding on? I said, ensure that you're not just holding on, you're actually living. Listen, we have one life to live. Don't just hold on. Don't just exist. Live your best life. And obviously, you know, there are limitations because we sure said most of we wouldn't want to stop work, go to Dubai or Bora Bora, go vacation or Bali and just probably work remotely or have our own business. I know that. But while we're working on all of these dreams and aspirations, because I mean, every day we work towards the goal. Like, you can't just exist, so obviously. But don't just exist like live obviously within your circumstances and whatever i don't know just live don't just go through the motions of life do a little bit more than that if it's even like the enjoyment when not cost you much or cost you anything at all those things exist so don't just exist don't just say i'm holding on don't want to do more than hold on you know Wanna climb and swing from tree to tree? Yeah, Tarzan. Tarzan was there. Twenty twenty-two. Just ordered, so you already know what me I eat up still. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid the copyright with the music, but this is my jam. Yeah, it's so she cute. Oh, my food is here. My fave. Oh my god. I'm about to get into this. Here's what Chrissy is having. It looks so good. That one. <laughs> Thank you. 